So, in my last video, I talked about what you can do if you're vegan and you have SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and how Dr. McDougall recently made a video about how if you eat a starch-based diet that it can help you recover from that condition, and how going on a SIBO-specific diet or just any other type of low-carb diet is more or less just a fad um, in order to get you to eat um, animal products and uh, keep you away from starch-based foods. So he said that at least a week or two you should start feeling better by eating the diet. Now it's been about two weeks since I did this and I can report a few things for you guys. First is that I noticed almost immediately uh, upon switching to his diet um, that my stools became much more loose and I was having more diarrhea. Now this would only happen if those carbohydrates were feeding the bacteria and the bacteria were producing hydrogen. Hydrogen um, tends to be dominant in those that have diarrhea whereas methane pr tends to be predominant if you have constipation. Now you can have an alternating mix of both of those gases if you have a mix or whatever's overgrowing in your small intestine. So it became very clear to me initially upon starting the experiment that um, the starch-based diet was simply aggravating my symptoms. But needless to say, I continued on with the experiment because I really wanted to give it a full run and see, you know, if maybe things would improve. About f a few days or more into the experiment, um, I did have one improved stool, although I was also taking Candi Candida, Bactin, AR, and BR from Metagenics, which has been used in research by John Hopkins University to help to... Um, treat SIBO. So I've been taking those along with following the diet, so I don't know if that had any influence on having a better stool or not. Now, that only occurred one time throughout the day, and since then, uh, the symptoms have been almost exactly the same, constant loose stools and diarrhea. So the condition has not improved, in fact, I would say that it's actually has gotten worse as far as my gastrointestinal symptoms. Um, the bloating, not so much, but the diarrhea has consistently stayed um, not watery, but uh, definitely mushy and that type of consistency. Um, now, I will also say that the Following McDougall's starch-based program, I noticed a much improvement in my joint pain. Now, I do believe that the starch-based diet can be anti-inflammatory, as plant-based diets are anti-inflammatory. And I noticed a great improvement in pain reduction, so that's a plus. But I think at this point, if somebody has got a already messed up gut, it is probably not beneficial to go on a starch-based diet. And I'm only saying that because of my own experience. Um, because before I ever got sick with SIBO, I did a McDougal starch-based program before, and I was eating a vegan, whole food, plant-based diet, and I had perfect bowel movements. I never had any problems like this. So it's definitely as a result of taking antibiotics and screwing up your gut ecosystem that is why now I'm not able to tolerate all these carbohydrates and these plant foods. So the solution, I think, for most people uh, that are listening to this video, if you're vegan, you really don't have a whole lot of other choices. You can go on an elemental diet where you take basically this liquid shake. And I think you take that for like two weeks. It's expensive and it doesn't taste very good and a lot of people can't handle it. Um... You know, point one of the reasons why a lot of people go on plant-based diets is because they want to get healthier. Well, in this case, if you have SIBO or you have some type of 
uh, gut problem, you really owe it to yourself to do whatever is possible and necessary to get well again. And you have to remember that just eating an animal is... That animal didn't die in vain, okay? It's basically dying to give you life, to help you get well. And in that sense, it isn't just mindlessly eating meat or being cruel. You know, um, life begets life, and it's the circle of life. You know, things die so that other things can live. That's the reality of life. Now, I did find a diet, which I have not tried yet, but I think is going to be very successful at helping me improve my own condition and has helped countless others improve their condition with SIBO and that is called the fast track diet. The fast track diet goes along the same principles of the low carb or specific carbohydrate diet or SIBO diet, FODMAPs, but in this case the fast track diet was developed by Norm Robillard. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your last name correctly. But uh, he developed the diet, and it's basically based upon this idea of fermentation. Now, he has all the different food categories, and in those food categories, you have all the different types of foods. And each food, along with its serving size, has what's called an FP point. Now, the higher the points, the higher the point for that particular food, the more symptoms that it can cause you. So you have low, you have moderate, and you have high. So I think like a banana is like seven or something. I mean, I don't really remember, but each food is based on a certain point. And then the point of the diet is that um, the, the score determines the fermentation potential. So... Jasmine white rice, for example, has a FP point of zero, which means it has a very low, if at all, fermentation potential, which will not give you any symptoms. So the lower the point, um, the better in order to manage your symptoms. Now, when you get better, when your symptoms start going away, you can move up to the medium uh, scores, and you should be able to tolerate those. If not, you go back to the low until more healing takes place. So it's a very, 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 really, I think, thought out program. Um, because if you simply go by, um, you know, just a low carb food, or, you know, you simply go by FODMAPs, you could be eating a food that has a high fermentation potential. And you could still be running into problems. So, for example, specific carbohydrate diet says that carrots are okay. Yet, on the fermentation potential scale, carrots are a little bit higher, such in, this, in the moderate score. And I noticed that they always given me problems. So, this program seems to be right on point and accurate as far as my experiences I've had with certain foods and how they aggravate my symptoms. Now, you can buy the book. And you can also get the Fast Track Diet app on your iPhone. Um, I'm not sure if it's on Android too, but you can definitely get it on your iPhone. And I think I paid like $7, but it's really, really nice. It's convenient. Uh, they got a shopping list. Uh, they got all the different food categories. There's um, chapters that explain what the Fast Track Diet is. It's very thought out, and uh, it's got almost five-star reviews. People that have had SIBO or other gut problems have found almost immediate relief. For example, one person was found on a specific carbohydrate diet, and they were about 75% better in as far as their symptoms were concerned. When they went to the fast-track diet, they got over 90%, they said, reduction in their symptoms. So that's pretty impressive. So I would encourage anybody out there to look into the fast-track diet. If you have SIBO, IBS, uh, any type of gut problems, autoimmune problems, uh, arthritis, you name it, look into that. And uh, I have yet to, con you know, to actually try this out, but I can tell you already that when I was doing the specific carbohydrate and SIBO specific diet, I had major relief of symptoms, uh, much more improvement than when I was following Dr. McDougall's starch-based program. So I know I'm probably the only one out there on the internet that has actually experimented with that diet that he's that he 
um, said would help SIBO. And I'm sorry to say that it just didn't help me in my particular case. Now you may want to go along and try it, but I'm just warning you, you may have increased symptoms. So uh, hopefully this is uh, going to be helpful for other people that are considering to do the starch-based diet for SIBO. And hopefully, you know, if that doesn't work out for you, then look into the fast track diet. Uh, I'm not being paid for doing this review or anything like that. This is all my own experimentation and my own review and my own experience. So with that, I uh, hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. And if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or you want to know more information, uh, just comment and ask me down below. And uh, I can put a link to the Fast Track Diet in my description, too. So, probably in my next video, we'll talk about uh, more about the Fast Track Diet and how it's helping me. Um, so, thanks for watching.